Half play is hardest flip. Well, as long as you don't know how to win. But no worries, soldiers, cause Master Fody is here. The red bear who's never gonna let you down. Today I'm here to explain the three main roles you can play and win Hoplite with, starting with the Miner. Probably the simplest and also my favorite role is Mining. Also it sounds like a piece of cake, it's actually a piece of obsidian. Let me explain. In Hoplite there is a much time before the PvP starts and everyone starts killing each other like mindless monsters. So you can mine the goofy way you mine in survival, that means you need to be a great and fast miner. But if you aren't one, don't worry, I got you covered. The most useful tip for mining is most probably the movement. I would say mining is 40% chance and 60% movement. And that's why speedruns can find stuff so fast. Imagine this is the cave you're exploring. Since you want to mine all the parts of the cave, you need to know a way to do that without running around circles. Caves in Minecraft and Hoplite are like a maze. Most of them lead to each other by right and left and you can easily find yourself stuck on a circle. But the moment you realize that, you have lost so much time and we don't want that in Hoplite. So the thing you want to do is to count each time you turn right or left and imagine a model like this in your mind so you can guess if you are lost or not. If you thought that you have mined important stuff in the cave, it's time to mine straight up without looking back. If you had time, you're gonna go to another cave and repeat all the steps and make sure that you have a full set of armor and at least two light apples with a useful sword. Now I'm gonna go through trading. Trading was and will always be one of the best ways to get OP in the game, until Mojang ruined it. But Hoplite is in 1.21 so trading is still okay. That means one of the best ways to win the game is definitely with trading. And since I'm the best Minecraft player in the world, I'm gonna go ahead and explain the best way of trading in Hoplite. Basically for getting stuff from villagers, you need to give them lots of emeralds and to get emeralds you need to give villagers stuff like papers and sticks and as long as I know, trading sticks with a flitcher is the best one. So go get your shovel and shove it up in gravels to get flint and take your pickaxe to smash some stone and iron. After that you're gonna become a lumberjack and chop down trees with that red axe you got there. Then you're gonna sell hundreds of sticks to stupid villagers and get tons of emeralds. Now you can decide between spending those emeralds on items and enchantments or getting yourself an emerald place. You can decide. Now on the last two spots we have the looter which is basically two different roles. The nether looter and the overworld looter. Nether looters are really sweaty players and sometimes the speedrunners on the game. They usually start with the minor kit and run straightly to a cave. After making a bucket and filling it with water, they will rush towards the nearest lava pool and make the nether portal. When they reach the nether, they will loot everything on their site and destroy all the spawners. So if you wanna get a magma club, you better catch up to them in the first 2 or 3 minutes of the game. Good luck with that. The overworld looters drop at the first structure they see and loot all the chests that they can. After looting the structures, they will immediately leave and get ready for mining. On the caves, they will look for the nearest mineshaft and loot the stuff on there in hope of diamonds and god apples for a Midas sword. If they get what they need, they can be one of the toughest ones to kill. That's pretty much it for this video and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel since I will be releasing a PvP texture pack at 100 subs. See you in the next one.